there's a rumor going around that we might be getting a double pack of two awesome and great platinum games, Bayonetta and Vanquish. What is going on, guys? Randall Thor 19, the man with the million, back again with another video. How's everybody's Sunday going? Hope you guys are enjoying football. If you are into that, me not so much, maybe because my bears are terrible. But oh, we got something here interesting. If you missed my last video, I talked about Stormlands, which was the canceled Xbox One launch RPG from Obsidian. Check that out. A lot of really cool information in that Eurogamer article, um, which is why I did the video. Now we have one here about Bayonetta and Vanquish possibly coming to the Xbox One and PS4 in a double pack. Now, if you guys recall, the PC versions of both these games came out recently, and honestly, it wouldn't be that big of a surprise. These two games are especially loved by Platinum Games fan. In my opinion, Bayonetta is an action slasher masterpiece. I absolutely adored that game when I played it on the 360. And that game didn't run too very well on the PlayStation, if I remember correctly. So it's, you know, a PlayStation would actually get a good version of Bayonetta for a change. And Vanquish is such an underrated gem. Uh, both these two games are probably Platinum's best games. And honestly, I would purchase this double pack, which is up on a couple of retailers, uh, noticeably alza.co.uk. It's also up on a few other retailers uh, as well so th this rumor seems to be gaining a little bit more steam as you can see here they expected it in 2017 and it's a double pack i would assume probably both will go for you know 20 dollars each or 40 dollars total for the whole package i am in day one well depending on when this comes out and i know people are going to be but, but rand didn't you just talk about Ali noir and how you're not interested in that now keep in mind this is my channel, and these are all just my opinions. And even though I played L.A. Noir and they are remastering it in 4K and whatnot, I'm not really interested in replaying that game because that game is all about the mystery, the crime solving. And I feel a replay of that is a little bit lessened when you know the answers to all the questions, basically. Because that is it's a detective game, right? You already know the outcome of everything, so it kind of doesn't lend itself well to an extra playthrough, at least in my opinion. Now, with Bayonetta and Vanquish, the story is the least of your concerns in these games. They're just completely ridiculous. What matters in Bayonetta and Vanquish is the rock-solid gameplay that both of them have, which never gets old. Uh, they were utterly fantastic games, so yeah, depending on when it comes out, I mean, if it comes out right in the middle of November, I probably won't, you know, won't play them right away, but if, if it came out in a slow month, like December, or something, a month where there wasn't a lot of games, I would love to replay Bayonetta and Vanquish. Now, of course, the elephant in the room is, what about Bayonetta 2? Is that going to come to Xbox One and PS4? And I, I se severely doubt it ever will. Uh, I don't think, I, I, I think, I remember reading that Nintendo had a lot to do with that uh, being made, and there's no way Nintendo's going to let that game go to PS4 and Xbox One. I think Nintendo, like, kind of co-funded that game, so that one's going to remain a Wii U exclusive, although I wouldn't be surprised if Bayonetta 2 made its way to uh, the Switch at some point in time. I mean, why not? Uh, you know, it's it's another audience that you can introduce your game to and maybe pick up some more sales, just like they're what they're doing here, Bayonetta and Vanquish. I'm interested in seeing what the improvements, too, would be when this comes out. Uh, would it feature uh, rock-solid frame rate at 60 frames? Would this be enhanced for the X and the Pro? Uh, there's a lot of cool things they could do with this, like 4K, 60 frames, uh, you know, HDR. They probably won't do HDR, but there's a lot of, lot of improvements that could be made to this stuff, considering it was a... 360 and PS3 game, and I believe Bayonetta was absolutely terrible, at least ran terribly on the PS3, so now you would actually have a good version of the game. So take this as kind of rumor right now, um, but I think this one will end up being true. It's starting to hit a bunch of different retailers, so it seems like this 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 rumor has some, some bit of a, you know, a weight behind it, but my personal opinion, can't wait to play both of these games again. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we find it. Hopefully the announcement comes soon. Anyways, guys, that is the video. 
Let me know what you think about Bayonetta and Vanquish. Have you played them? What did you think? Did you like them just as much as me? Let me know in the comments below uh, what you thought of those games. If you enjoyed the video, as always, please help me out and hit that like button as it helps out the channel as well. If you're new to the channel, if you found this video by accident or you haven't subscribed to me already, please hit that subscription button so you're always notified when I drop a new video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching really d do appreciate it hope everybody has a good rest of their weekend and i'll see everybody in the next video later guys